It was her birthday yesterday, and all she wanted for her birthday was to feed Lucy. So uh, we're gonna help her out. Don't worry about it. But we're gonna get everyone excited about it and uh, see Lucy and Butterscotchy. You ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Up, 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 up. Uh, there, you go. there you go. Ready to go today. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Ah! Oh, she's got oh. Okay, here we go. That is freaking Stick, 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 stick for one second. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. You know, we've got two days until the install of the Reptile Expansion, and tomorrow, Stuart actually comes in. And how's the weather, you may ask? Yeah. It's snowing, and it's been snowing really for the last few days. Uh, again, we hadn't gotten any snow hardly all winter long, and just when the install comes, uh, we have to get three or four days worth of snow. But the good news is, is that the day we're actually installing is supposed to stop snowing, so we're gonna have to obviously shovel the parking lot and stuff like that, because it's not ideal to be placing the enclosures when we unload them off the truck onto snow. You know, obviously, it's definitely a little bit of a hurdle we have to overcome, but nothing that's too major. I'm glad that actually on the day we're installing appears to be clear and supposed to be at least in the upper 30s. It's gonna be cold, but it's not gonna to be too bad. So I tell you what, guys, I'm not gonna to lie to you. The pressure is starting to get to me. I mean, I'm excited, I'm nervous. A million things are going through my head right now about you know what could potentially go wrong, what are we gonna encounter, how's it all gonna go, how's it gonna fit, what have I not thought? I think I've thought every possible situation out. But what have I forgot? So uh, we'll see, guys. I, I, like I said, I doubt that I'm gonna sleep the next two days because uh, there's still some things that I have to get done here and get ready, but we are so close. And honestly, although I'm nervous as could be, it is so exciting. What in the heck is going on here? Uh, every now and then I'll see this little crazy thing do that actually hangs onto the top of the screen. Uh, thankfully, we have plenty of stuff for it to kind of brace its fall a little bit, but uh, that, thing is, that, thing, that thing is scary looking sometimes, but I absolutely love it. And honestly, I'm pretty excited to see what Stuart is gonna think about the enclosures, because when he left last time, we didn't even have the center aisle done. It was just the outer cages right here, and I'm actually gonna get Night Fury in a soak right now, because it looks like it's just about to shed out, and look just a little bit dried out so I'm gonna go ahead get him in the soak really quick make him look really beautiful later on today when people come to visit obviously it is gonna be exciting to see what Stuart thinks with the animals in the enclosure with the center aisle you know he's so artistic and creative I can't wait to just see what his opinion is of this Reptarium as we go and start the next Reptarium again he's coming in tomorrow night Sweetheart, what are you doing? Lucy is definitely at a point where she wants to feed. So I'm not gonna get too close because she just shut out last week. She is ready to rock and roll for sure. And I'm excited because I always love to share experiences. You guys know that. That's what the Reptarium is really about. But obviously I have to be a little cautious when it comes to Lucy. We don't take her out very often. But of Livia, someone that works with us here at the Reptarium when we're open, it was her birthday yesterday. And for her birthday, she asked for one thing, if she could feed Lucy. So later on tonight when we're open, I'm gonna actually be in here coaching her, making sure she's 100% safe. But Olivia is gonna get an opportunity to feed Lucy for the first time. She's excited and I'm excited to see how she does. Just going through and just kind of doing a spot ultrasound check because next week I'm gonna be so busy with all of the install, I'm not gonna be able to do it. And I wanna just get an idea of where we're at here. This girl was at 17 millimeters and oh my gosh, yeah. Talk about growth right there. I mean, this girl's been bred a bunch, so that's really great too. And uh, I cannot believe how big she grew. This is a huge difference. She is actually at 32 millimeters. They're gonna ovulate at about 40 millimeters, so she's basically almost done. I'd like to get one more breeding in with her, and then I think that we are good to go. I'm not gonna get a chance to go through all of the animals because it takes several hours, but I definitely wanna go through a handful and just see what kind of progression we have. This girl was at 21 millimeters. She's been bred a few times, and again, she didn't grow as rapidly as this other girl did, but definitely seeing growth, and that's all I really care about is growth, because as they grow, that means that they're developing towards ovulation. And I'm really excited about this year because we have a lot of new animals up to size. She was 25 millimeters, so she grew four millimeters in only a week, so that's absolutely good. And like I had mentioned, we have a lot of new animals up to size this year that are gonna be super exciting. And these females are starting to really blow up. This girl was just at 12 millimeters, so let's see if she's got anything else going 
going on. Not a huge growth here, but again, definitely growth. And that's all you can hope for. So I'll go ahead and just measure these up real quick. Let's see, we got uh, right there. Yeah, she was at 15, now she's at you know 17. So again, she's growing, not quick growing. Usually when you go from 20, you'll go from 20 to like 35 in a couple weeks. From 10 to 20 can sometimes take two or three months. So that's just all part of it. This girl up here, which I'm really excited about, is actually an Enchi Mojave that's het for clown, and she was bred to a banana clown. So we could get banana Enchi Pastavi clowns. I mean, how crazy would that be? She was at 30 millimeters. I have a feeling she is gonna be close to being done not quite done yet i'm interested i thought that she might actually be ready to go but it looks like what do we have here 30 she's all the way up to 33 millimeters so she should be ovulating here within the next couple weeks so regardless i'm just going to go through do a bunch of ultrasounding really quick just to get a kind of gauge of what's going on because again next week i'm going to be out of touch with all of this stuff working just on the reptarian expansion so uh so far so good so i'll just crush out some of these ultrasounds and uh, go from there I like when you call me baby. All right, spin it into it. Sorry, go now. You're making me nervous here. Let me uh, collect my thoughts. We're up here in the colubrid room. All these racks just got sterilized clean. That can only mean one thing. The colubrids are gonna be coming up probably in about two to three weeks. We uh, warm them up. We still wait about a couple weeks after warming them up just to kind of get them awake and get their metabolisms working again. Uh, we'll bring them up here and they're gonna be ready to breed. We're gonna have eggs before you know it. Feels like we just put them down so things are moving quite fast here at BHB. Uh, as you can see, I got some uh, delicious rodents here. I'm gonna go through today, feed all the stock stuff. The few ones that we didn't hibernate and then uh, that's about it for today. I wanna end that differently, is that okay? That was crap, that was mediocre at best. So why don't I just say, so we're just gonna, <laughs> so we're just gonna be feeding these guys, I can't cause you're laughing now. Just gonna be feeding these guys today and uh, wrapping that up, making sure everyone's good and before you know it, we'll be bringing the adults back up. Like I mentioned before, I'm doing the best I possibly can do so we don't have to lift and carry these big enclosures around. They're just so heavy, they're so bulky. So we've got some of the dollies, of course, that we'll be setting them on to roll them in. Then we needed a pallet jack because what we'll do is basically put them on the pallet jack and then we can just kind of put them in space. Now remember what I had mentioned that we're gonna take and flip the cages up and actually install these legs on the bottom and then flip them back up like this, which means then the pallet jack has to lift them up and put them into spot. But as you can see, if I go up with this pallet jack, the highest the pallet jack can go is right there, right? And obviously I need it to go higher than this. So there's gonna be a differential of about eight inches or so. So what I have to do is build some stands on here that are eight inches high that can actually slide right underneath here where the floor of the cage will be. And then I can lift up. I only need to get about an inch off the ground. It's not that big of a deal. So I have to just build some risers for this that slide under here. That way we can put it into spot, drop it down, pull the pallet jack out and done. No one has to get a hernia lifting these cages. Only eight more hours. And so basically now we have little stands. So again, to give you the idea, now if we push into here, 
we can actually push up like this. It'll go above the stands like that. And we can roll a cage in, drop it down, and then just pull this out just like this. So there it is, a little life hack for you guys. So that is a huge thing off my plate. Again, just trying to make this as easy as possible. Last time we humped every cage in carrying, it was so heavy, so difficult. If we can do this without having to do that, it will be a lot better. All right, it's time to open up, and uh, it's kind of cool because this is the last couple days that we will be open when things are gonna look a lot different. So what do you say we just open up and have a good time tonight? Hey guys, how are you? Good, how you Thanks doing? for coming, I appreciate you guys. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Welcome, hey bud. Hi, Pam, how are you? Thank you so much, I appreciate you. Hi, how are you? Hi, how's it going? Hi, good, good to see you. How you doing? Hi, Hi how are you? What's good. going on? How are you? Thanks for coming. How are Hi. you? Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you guys. Hey, how are you? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Good, good, good. How's everything going? Thank you for coming. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate you guys. Hi. Bam. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I hope we have a good time tonight, right? Hey, how are you? How long is this? So it's your birthday? Yes, thank well, you. Happy birthday. You having a good time? You. Yes, I am. All right, good. Yeah, What's your, what are you most excited about? Uh, uh, probably Lucy. Lucy? Oh, well, we're feeding her in about an hour. So oh. you can watch her eat, all right? Okay. Or we can feed you to her, whichever you prefer. <laughs> so as you can see, things are definitely popping off. And again, it's kind of cool because this is the last couple days where this wall is in here. So here in a week or so, uh, the next time people come in, that wall is going to be down. Uh, it's going to look totally different in here. And as you can see, we are definitely popping. A lot of people, hard to kind of get everyone in here. So having that extra space is going to be amazing. Uh, I can't wait for that to happen. Oh, and by the way, like I mentioned, Olivia is going to be feeding Lucy here in about an hour. It was her birthday yesterday, and all she wanted for her birthday was to feed Lucy. So uh, we're going to help her out. Don't worry about it. But we're going to get everyone excited about it and uh, see Lucy and Butterscotch eat. So as you can see, everyone is convening to uh, see what Lucy does and uh, how are you feeling? You feeling excited? I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling pretty good. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time, so uh, All right. I'm ready to get to it. All right, great. And Olivia's great. She obviously works here at the Reptarium, so uh, I have confidence she's going to be okay. I'm going to keep her safe. Let's hope. We'll see what happens. Let's go check it out. You guys ready for this? You ready? I'm ready. All right, so she's pretty close. So basically what's going to happen, Olivia, is you're just going to put it like this. Try to keep the nose of the rabbit yep. about above her head just a little bit. She's going to strike out. I'm going to stay here just to be safe. But uh, for the most part, you're in good shape, all right? All right. I hope. Cool. All right, so you're going to get that up in the air as high as you can right now. Oh, my God. Do it. Up, 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 up. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What'd you think? That was awesome. <laughs> you got, she did good, right? Yeah! This is, this, is, this is Olivia's birthday present. So everyone say happy birthday to Olivia. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. All right, good job. Now, hey, in about three minutes, I'm going to feed butterscotch right over here. I'm sorry, some people aren't going to be able to see, but she's very energetic right down this way, okay? Okay, next up is my girl butterscotch, and butterscotch is definitely ready to go today. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Ah! All right, here we go, Butterscotch. Watch yourself. Back up, back up. She's good. Oh, she's got one. Okay, here we go. That is freaking tough. Stick, 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 stick for one second. Yep. Freak, I got it for one second. I got it, got it, got it. Hang on, don't touch her, don't touch her, don't touch her. All right, here we go. There she is. Oh, there she is. No way. <laughs> what do you guys think? That was awesome. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Way to go. And we all live. I thought you were gone. I thought you were gone. Finally winding down here at the Reptarium. Definitely a crazy busy night. Super cool. And again, it's a cool memory because, again, this is some of the last nights I'm going to have here before our expansion is done. So it was really cool to share it with people and also be able to kind of tell everyone to come back and see the place where we have more room. Because trust me, it was hard to even move in here tonight. Regardless, it was amazing. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Can you do me a couple favors really quick? Over here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel. Over here, you can run through a playlist of a bunch of vlogs if you don't mind. Subscribe to the vlog over here. Turn those post notifications on. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.